Welcome to the channel. Today, quick video about the Salomon Ultra Glide. So these literally just arrived about 15, 20 minutes ago, and I'm looking forward to trying them on. So I'm gonna go into all the details about the stats at home, but to kind of explain why I was kind of so excited about the shoe, it basically is to do with the fact that I've always wanted to wear a Salomon shoe for some reason. And when I heard that they created one with more cushion and more width, but still lightweight, I mean, that's the first thing that surprised me the most about the shoe once I got the box was the width, how light it feels uh, and awesome grip. I just thought that, you know, those are like sort of special ingredients that uh, are gonna make a, yeah, a special shoe. So hopefully I'm not wrong. So this colorway wasn't the one that I initially wanted to go for. Uh, I want to go for the, the blue, white and the black and the red, but actually I don't mind this, uh, the black here. So colorway, it's looking pretty cool. Okay, so I'm back inside. First quick test I wanna do is basically just weigh it. I am gonna get my new digital scales and weigh the shoe. And here we go, so this is a men's UK size, 10 and a half, coming in at, oh, that's good, 304 grams. 304 grams, that is about 50, 60, 70 grams lighter than most of my trail shoes. So uh, I know that's, that was one of the big things that sort of got me initially into interest in the shoe was the fact that it is a max cushioned lightweight shoe. And that kind of proves the point there because this is very different from, um, I'm not a, I don't really know Salomon that well, but I know this is very different from their sort of traditional shoes. Most shoes are quite firm, whereas this is much more max cushioned. Also, apparently, I don't know yet, but uh, they have they've widened the toe box because obviously normally the, um, uh, the traditional sort of Salomon shoes are very, well, very close, very fit, very tight. So I have heard that the width has been improved. It's much wider, more accommodating, which is gonna to appeal to a lot more people's uh, feet. Um, but nothing like, uh, nothing like an Ultra or a Topo. So I know that uh, Lloyd from Run For Adventures, he pretty much put that point, uh, point, put point home where he heard a few people say it was like that, but it's not. But I'll have to try it on very soon. I'm literally just gonna give you the full stats before I try it on. In the heel, it's 32 millimeters to 26. So it's a six mil drop, full length uh, contra grip rubber. Yeah. And inside the, um, in the actual midsole itself is their, what is their energy surge midsole. Up here we have the quick lace system with a little lace holder up in the, t in the uh, tongue here. The tongue itself is actually fully gusted, very soft, very comfortable it looks like. Nice cushioning, actually, oh yeah, that is. That's very cushioned throughout. The heel counter, pretty firm, so it's nice and structured, but again, more padding around the inside here. So I think comfort-wise, that looks like it's gonna be pretty good. Lots of good overlays up front here as well, lots of protection. I've heard about this before from both uh, Lloyd from Run For Adventures and also Seth James Damore. Uh, it's great, great overlays here, good protection. So yeah, I mean, I've never been able to wear the Salons before because they've all been a little bit too restrictive and a little bit too firm. Um, but when I heard that they had this one out there, I was really intrigued. And I think I'm gonna be generally impressed. Right, so that is a very quick overhaul of all the stats. And next part is to test them out. morning so it's about just gone 6 6 a.m. I'm up early and out and testing out the Salomon Hodge Glides. First impressions very impressed really impressed generally pleased um, so immediately the uh, thing that was on my mind was gonna be the width the fit they're definitely not an ultra or a topo but they are more sort of comparable to I guess my Nike Wild Horse even the Hocker Torrent 2, um, they have, luckily, the inside of the foot, the shoe, is pretty straight. It does taper at the end, but more on the lateral side, so it just allows your big toe to sit straighter, which is fine because I only have issues when the big toe gets pushed in. Right now, I can see and feel it's not. So the fit-wise, in the width, so far, it's good actually, it's, it's fine. Length is spot on. So I'm a 10.5 in all my shoes. These are 10.5 and they're great. So really, really impressed and pleased with that. Uh, 
the lacing system I still need to kind of work out exactly how how tight to go because they're a snug fit when you when you're putting your foot in once your foot in it sort of sits comfortable but they should probably have a pull tab on these but there's no pull tab um, so I have to play around with that but and I guess the housing system the little laces is a bit tricky and small but uh, that's only a very tiny minor detail and the, the overall up lockdown of the upper so far is great really behind the ankle the ankle fit is great the heel fit the heel cup that sits in really nicely really secure and that's without putting the lacing system down tight so uh, the overall lockdown it feels really really good I've been doing a few hills up and down not not steep but just to see how the feel let's see how the foot feels inside the shoe on uh, all that and so far so good but there seems to be a lot of magic in the uh, in the midsole that energy surge midsole with that slight sort of semi rocker style feel it's really good I mean 32 26 so it's a six mil drop as I said it's really it's it's cushioned but not mushy there's a lot of response to it so you can still feel the ground okay six mil drop isn't high uh, and it really works it's sort of it's like a sort of weird mix between like, sort of well for me anyway like maybe the night react uh, the pro fly and then a bit more bounce back with I don't know it's very light so yeah really really good midsole so far seems to be working really really well uh, and the grip okay it's all dry out now but that seems to be well so far all good so I gotta say my first impressions I basically it's only been 40 minutes running uh, have been uh, have been really good so I haven't really got any negative points to say yet so I will try and take the shoe to 50 um, as quick as I can and then uh, better see a bit more from there but I'm impressed uh, and as I said genuinely pleased because I was concerned that the width might be too narrow the toe box might be too tapered um, I would not want to wear thick socks with these shoes but with thin socks and I guess over time it will open up it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be okay but the nimble agile speedy feel of the shoe um, sort of reminiscent with a maybe like the Hocker 2, I uh, sorry the Torrent 2, uh, mixed in with a bit of the Evo Speed Goat. Uh, a very nice wraparound fit. Yeah, it's going to be uh, a fun shoe. I've also taken on, I don't know, a couple of minutes on the road, and it seems to handle the tarmac, the hard surfaces, really, really well. So, you know, and I guess when you're going long and ultras, you're going to get a mix of everything. So. That's a good plus. Salomon Ultra Glide test run one done. Right, that's it. Time for some breakfast. Thank you. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope that was a good, uh, good first review of the Salomon uh, Ultra Glide shoes. Yeah, very impressed. Um, so that's it. So yeah, please hit that like and share button. And subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, thank you very much. And um, take care. See you soon. Bye.